President and Rector, my Lords, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to Commemoration 2013. On the 23rd day of October, 1945, His Majesty, the late King George VI, and Her Majesty, the late Queen Elizabeth, honored with their presence our celebration of the 100th anniversary of the foundation of the Royal College of Chemistry, a forerunner to the Imperial College the governors of the college resolved that this event should be commemorated each year by an assembly of the governors, the rector, the professors, the lecturers, the readers, and those in statu populari as an act of homage to our visitor, the reigning sovereign. This would serve as a mark of gratitude to all those who have helped the college and as a sign of personal rededication to the pursuit of knowledge in science and engineering and their application for the well-being of humankind. Now we meet today to recognize the outstanding achievements of students at the college in all of their endeavors. In sporting triumphs, artistic, and musical excellence, cultural diversity, volunteering and enthusiasm, as well as in academia. Yet in doing so, may today's graduates also acknowledge that not only do you have the enormous potential to contribute towards taking mankind forward but that you also shoulder the burden of expectation created by the achievements of those who came before you. Now our time as students never was and never will be solely for academia or achievement. It was to find ourselves, to immerse ourselves in university life and to make a positive contribution to the college. In future years, ours will be the shoulders that future graduates stand upon. So let us now remember all those who have served the college from its beginning, in council and in deeds, and particularly our founder, His Royal Highness Albert, the Prince Consort. Let us rededicate ourselves in humility to seeking the truth, to the pursuit of natural knowledge, and to the application of this knowledge to the service of our fellow men and women in all parts of the world. Gloriat Collegium Imperiali. God save the Queen. Chair, members of court and council, members of the university, our guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2013 Commemoration Day at Imperial College. Commemoration Day and the Graduation Day for postgraduates next May are the two most important days in the Imperial College calendar. By the end of the ceremony today, this is the third ceremony of the day, by the end of today, 2,500 graduates would have crossed this stage and formally graduated from Imperial College. But today is for our graduates, and we will celebrate the individual success of each and every one of you. And I should say again how delighted we are 
to welcome so many guests to Imperial College and the Royal Albert Hall today. There are a total of 7,000 guests, family, friends, supporters of you here today from more than 100 countries. And it's a great privilege to have you here to help us celebrate the success of our graduates. Now, over the years, universities have changed a great deal, both here and around the world. And they're changing very fast. A number, quite a number of universities, like Imperial College, have become real powerhouses in research. And they're looked upon by governments to address some of the major societal challenges that we face, whether it's energy, whether it's climate, aging, whether it's healthcare, or the pressures that an inexorably increasing global population places upon the environment. Also, increasingly, universities are creating value out of their research and their ideas and seem to be a key way forward in generating economic growth in countries. These things are certainly true of Imperial College. However, there is no doubt that the most important function of a university and the most important function of Imperial College is achieving education at the highest possible standards. The greatest achievement of Imperial College is you, our graduates, seated here today in the ceremonies at the Albert Hall. You are, to flatter you, amongst the most talented people in the world today. Many of you, half of you or so, will continue here at Imperial College. About half of you will move on to other pursuits, other academic pursuits or, or me medical, biomedical things elsewhere. But as you enter whatever elsewhere is, <laughs> but as you start to enter the wider world, you're entering a world that's increasingly interconnected, complex, with very big problems to solve. However, it is a world that's replete with exciting challenges that you are or will be so positioned to uh, attack. The formal qualifications which you will receive today as you cross the stage will certainly launch you well on this journey and stand you in good stead. But you will have benefited from your times at Imperial in quite a unique way. You will have benefited from this extraordinarily international environment which is Imperial, from the variety of activities that you will have engaged in, and from experience a cultural diversity that operates as a community with an extraordinary level of harmony, both here in Imperial and around us in London. It's this experience of having been in this environment, in addition to your great academic achievements, that will actually set you apart and probably define much of your future characters. Whilst you've been at Imperial, you will have no doubt been struck by the thoroughly international community that we are, and you will have benefited from it. As you start to move, or some, many of you start to move now outside Imperial and joining a community of alumni, some 170,000 of them around the world, you'll be increasingly struck by the extraordinary global reach of alumni from Imperial. And it's often said, and I believe it to be correct, that the reputation of Imperial is really built on what its alumni do. They are our greatest ambassadors. They help us attract the best and most able students, and they, in turn, help attract the best and most able staff. Our alumni also are increasingly generous in the support of Imperial students. 
So some 5,000 just this last year have made financial donations, which has enabled us to give another 85 scholarships to undergraduates, another 50 PhD studentships. Some of you may well have benefited directly from their generosity. Some of you have probably helped through telethons and so on, helped raise and generate some of that money to help. Those that have, have showed extraordinary generosity in their time at Imperial because you have given up your effort for the benefit of a generation to follow you. This really is Imperial College as a community working at its very best. So in conclusion, I have no doubt that your achievements will be equally as significant of those who have preceded you. You're very much the Imperial College of today, but what you do in the rest of your careers will build and define the Imperial College of tomorrow. So may I, may I offer you my sincere congratulations on the successes you have and will celebrate today. And can I also turn to our guests and thank them for joining us in celebrating your success and making this day in the Albert Hall such a wonderful occasion. And certainly one that befits your great achievements as graduates and befits the aspirations we have for your future. Thank you. Graduands in the Faculty of Medicine, Associates of Imperial College School of Medicine, and Graduands of the University. The names will be read out by College Consul Non-Clinical Faculty of Medicine, Professor Myra McClure, followed by Professor of Musculoskeletal Biodynamics, Professor Alison McGregor, followed by Professor of Translation Medicine, Professor Simon Taylor Robinson, followed by College Consul Clinical Faculty of Medicine, Professor Desmond Johnson. Chair. I call on the graduates in the Faculty of Medicine, Associates of Imperial College School of Medicine, and those who have been awarded first degrees of the university to come forward to be presented to you, Chair, in token of the congratulations of the court, council, and of all members of Imperial College. Due to the large number of graduates being presented today, may I ask the audience to reserve applause for prize winners and the end of the group of graduates. Bachelors of Science, Eleanor Abbott, Sinan Ahmed, Caitlin Archer, Mike Asavarut, Olufemi Aye Koloye, Stephanie Brocky. Amanda Caesar, Claire Cheng, <laughs> Wan Sang Chong. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize and the Julia Buckingham Prize, Amelia Chong. <laughs> Hannah Cox. Adriana Kivara Rukos. Ali Ibrahim. Nur Ali Johari. Akal Kaur. Marios Kutsakos. Gabriela Kreit. Elvina Po Jade Lee, 
Eugene Lee Quinn Lee. Hong Lee. Jin Siok Lee. Michelle Lee. Cook Hyung. Yo Mun Lim. Adriana Liu. Susan Liu. Belinda Kwok Man Lo. Nanda Mog. Stephanie Pulam Mo. Sonia Nestorowa. Awarded the David Lee's Memorial Prize, the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, and the Waller Prize, Wang Chin Aileen Ng. <laughs> Wafna Palamanda DJ. Anastasis Petri. Johnson Platinum. Alarizei Haddad. Ahad Siddiqui. Amand Luke Thatchett. Ting Jo Li Yang. Louise Amelia Tolton. Kathy Wang. Siwa Pon Wiji Tip. Joanna Zolin. Evelyn Ganawan. Laura Farraisen. Sophie Ray. Natha Ashraf. Yasmin Belkarti. Fatima Yegana. Malaz Ali Hassan El Sadiq. Sarah Gentry. Jonathan Goodship. Joshua Henry. Jennifer Jaya Kumar. Michael Kelly. Yoon Kim. Sebastian Kosasi. Kimberly Lackenby, Jamil Mushtaq, Rohini Rayo, Kyle Stevenson, Muaz Tahir, Raghav Varma, Yasmin Alpha Luji, Alaya Aledina, Jonas Anderson, Rakin Anwar, Veena Babu, Kavita Bedi, <laughs> Kerry Cooper, Thomas Fenner, Connor Garrard Smith, Jack Haywood, Shin He Ni Ho. Nora Jafar, Christian Joseph, Avnit Kambe, Ashley Memi, Arjun Nanavati, Nadine Ong, Ramiz Rahman, Marie Claire Rooney, Shiki Singh, Priyanka Singh, Parina Thakirar, Reina Tib, Saurabh Verma, Hasibula Wardak, Asad Yunis, awarded the Agnes Cope Prize near Mitha Jaya Ratna.
Karen Pinto, Alice Hayes, Ewan Johns, Harriet Nerva, Sophie Stokes, Lucy Vermont, awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Amulia Vuzi Rikala. <laughs> Joanna O'Sullivan, awarded the Stedman Prize, Shah Zaib Ahmad. Mohammed Ali, Ali Bakir, Mizbah Haq, awarded the Stedman Prize, Stephen Leek. <laughs> Kenneth Thomas, Maria Ku, Jonathan Noble. Shayan Ahmed, Francesco Fiorini, Florence Wedmore, Hina Jamal, Rosa Matthews, Elliot O'Connor, Laura Shapcott, Eleanor De Rosa, Imudiaga Imanua. Jennifer Forshaw, Emma Graham, James Yates, Nazia Abdallah, Jessel Acharya, awarded the NHLI Prize for Outstanding Performance in Respiratory Sciences, Laura Adams. Shahnaz Ahmed, Mobulaji Ajikidjibi, Becker Al Kayat, Anumitra Amir Thanayagam, awarded the Governor's Prize, Ashlik Amlani, <laughs> Tarek Amari. Emma Amwafo, Piriyankan Ananthavarathan, Laura Anko, Dushiyanthi Aromuganisan, Hasnain Asharia, Hassan Asif, Iman Awan, Aisha Azam, Jarda Azopardi, Sophia Baker, Joseph Barker, awarded the Dudley Phillips Memorial Prize and the Hepburn Prize, Lauren Berg. <laughs> Catherine Bettany, Vansi Brugubanda, Charlotte Boardman, Thanusha Brabarupan, Hannah Brooks, Thomas Brunt, Sophia Butt, awarded the Max Bond Memorial Prize, Renee Campbell. Basil Shamali, Janakan Chandra Kumar, Elvin Chang, Sangeeta Chatterjee, awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Mansimran Chima. <laughs> Jackie Chen, Soha Choi, Jonathan Cooper, Hugh Crawford Smith, Rebecca Kurbishli, 
Senai Daham, Zudi Dai, Uttarandatta, Dean Davda, Rihanna Davis, Rihanna Davis, <laughs> Peter Davis, Mira Deshumke, Rizwan Duji, Michelle Dinzi, Chloe Doran, Anjana Dua, Imi Ika. Awarded the Dudley Prize, Majd El Harassis. <laughs> Nicholas Elliston. Josephine Emmanuel, Sarah Elizabeth Vivian Epton, Fatima Sumaya, Simon Federer, Tricia Ferguson, Samitha Fernando, Catherine Falk, Kunal Gandhi, Dushinana Pir Agassam, Rebecca Gosling, Samia Gotardi, Adam Gunasekara, Keith Gunasekara, Zobia Gundkali, Linda Chen Guo, Hamid Habib. Nabi Hambali, Atif Haik, Philippe Harbord, Matthew Harling, Conrad Harrison, awarded the Thomas Henry Green Prize, Nadia Hashi Marifan. <laughs> Noor Hassan. Darius Hazande Boboli. Awarded the Sir William Broadbent Prize, Jack Healy. <laughs> Catherine Hedgley. Daniel Higgins. David Wayming McFadden Hillier. Richard Holder. Natasha Holmes. Jay Hong. Matthew Hutchins, Emily Hutchinson, Kareem Ibrahim, Nuthana Elikovan, George Ayasit, Mohini Islam, David Gerald, Che Che Ji, Edward Jones, Amir Kamura, Christopher Kane, Nisha Kanani, Orianne Keating, Maximilian Keach, Johanna Kafus, awarded the, the Pereira Prize, Anka Kajuria. <laughs> Umar Halik. Chaitan Katari, Avnish Kilosia, Sung Hee Kim, Dong Tong Zhang Ko, Vaidahi Kontati, Elizabeth Kostov, Bansari Kotekcha, Chow Ying Kawa, Suraj Kukardia, Manisha Kumar, Cheryl Lau, Wei Ren Lau, Matthew Leahy, Emma Lee, Samuel Lee, Yi Yin Lee, David Lester, 
Charlotte Levine, Marissa Lewis, Kame Lin, King Lung Allen Lu, Maria Lobo, Jen Lowe, Louisa McDonald, Megan McKenzie, Jayvahan Mahalingam, Rachel McNee, Abdul Ruf Maruf, Naomi Matthew, Naokobi McCabe, James McEntee, Vernon McGough, Patrick McGowan, Joshua Maguire, Jack McLean, Amy Mater, Robert Migley, Aiton Mervis, Jessica Mystery, Sean Mitchell, Annabelle Munden Ballantyne, Amanda Mathabi Moho, Nadisha Lakmal Mudali Gay, Edward Jing Hung Myung, Bahathi Nagasherawan, Sarah Name, Elizabeth Nally, Shana Nararavath Wasami, Jonathan Nash, Kazir Nawab, Alexis Nelson, Daniel Neto, Christopher Ng, Bethia Nithianathan, Edward Norman, Alexandra Nobar, Isaac Obisanya, Rele Ulagunde, Ifanye Onubugu, Josh Orphan Palmer, James Orr, Daniela Osagai, Denise Osekufo, Toby Oesefo, Daniel Kanan Han, Neha Panda, Roshana Parbu, Arjun Patel, awarded the Malcolm Morris Memorial Prize, Bina Patel. Dylan Patel, Kirtan Patel, Krishna Patel, Mittal Patel, Porvi Patel, Radhika Patel, Remika Patel, Raya Patel, Rishul Patel, Awarded the Evelyn de Rothschild Prize, Ashini Pau. <laughs> Lydia Pearson. <laughs> Pia Pearson. Awarded the Charles Powers Prize and the Thomas Scurry Prize, Louis Peters. <laughs> Dardan Popova. Harry Posner, Matthew Poynton, Gabriella Prager, Maria Karishi, Rashid Rabiu, Sidgat Rahim, Kash Rahim, Ruby Ramjan, Rias Rampuri. Miran Ratasnawaran, Georgina Raven, Rahul Ravindran, Charlotte Reed, Troy Revier, Lalitha Rasa, 
Maria Gracia Riviera Cartland, Nathan Roos, Ankush Shakdev, Lavania Sada Sivan, Bilal Sahib, Yusuf Sally, Bradley Sanders. Awarded the NHLI Outstanding Achievement Prize in Cardiovascular Sciences, Arunash Saul. <laughs> Peter John Scott. Mohammed Shaith. Mohith Shamdaz. Miriam Sharman. Alexander Sharp. Abdul Rauf Sheikh. Talia Shibley, Chanel Shivji, Matthew Shotliffe, Sukri Taisina, Ishani Sivaraja, Michael Smith, Parul Shirastav, Saurabh Srivastava, Callum Stapley, Charlotte Stevens, Eleanor Stewart, Awarded the Alan J. Stowlauf Prize, Adujavan Sugumar. <laughs> Wing Jen C. Sere Beshan Tai. Zhao Tai. UK Tako. Evelyn Tang. Charison Tay. Wakana Teranaka. Evelyn Thangaraj, Anish Thilanathan, David Thompson, Louise Thornhill, Tony Ten, Christopher Turilla, Teresa Tamnutran, Feng Yin Sei, Ingrid Pui Ying Tay, Brian Ukaduro, Dexter Valencia, Nina Vasia, Claire Vassi, Yash Verma, Shivani Begneswaran, Jamakani Bias, Hannah Walker, <laughs> Siri Wong Krumet, Ho Kam Wu, Ken Wu, <laughs> Chung Wu. Elka Weinberg, Si Yao Jing, Mariam Yassin, Jaming Yo, Charlene Zat, Shirin Zahid, Cheng Yuang Zhang, Sathian Vivei Kanathium, Stephen Tran. Bachelors of Medicine and Bachelors of Surgery and Associates of Imperial College School of Medicine. Mohammed Abdul Latif. <laughs> Amish Acharya. Tomalola Adesonya. Kavita Agarwal. Laura R. Kai. Hesham Ahmadi Noreddin Band. Saeed Altaf Akhtar. Awarded the HWC Vines Prize in Pathology, Proxime Accessit, and the Jasmine Andaraja Prize, Navdeep Singh Alk. <laughs> Asad Ali. Kelly Amenashoa. Claudia Apia, <laughs> Mawson Asharia, awarded the Humphrey Arthur Prize, Proxime Accessit, Joshua Belogan Lynch, <laughs> awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Kylie Beale. Mahua Baduri, 
Abhishek Bhattacharya, Raj Kishore Bihani, Craig Blower, James Bowyer, Miriam Brandon, Jonathan Buckley, awarded the Edgar Lawley Prize, the Gordon M. Holmes Prize, and the Norman C. Lake Prize, Claire Carrasco. <laughs> Rebecca Carey, Natasha Castellino, Lisa Ann Chaco, Florence Chamberlain, Thomas Charlton, Uma Chowdhury, Ankit Chawla, Connie Chen, awarded the Gordon M. Holmes Prize, Proxime Access It, and the Lance Ware Mensa Award, John Chetwood. Maria Cho, Jason Choi, Mervyn Chong, Yujet Chong, Rowan Joan Chu, Anil Chopra, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Jeffrey Chow. Katie Clamp, Oliver Cohen, Francesca Conway, Daniel Cotton, Rachel Crane, Daisy Croker, Stephanie D'Souza, hmm. awarded the Abrahams Prize in Histopathology, the Faculty of Medicine Prize, the Green Armitage Prize, the HWC Vines Prize in Pathology, the Jasmine Anandaraja Prize, the Richard Hebb Prize in Hematology, and the Sturgis Prize, Bibek Shankar Das. Natasha Devendralingam, Richard Davies, Eleanor Half Mendes Edwards, Candy Ejiofor, Abbas El Ali, Fuad El Hibri, Framrose Elavia, Afiong Etok, Callum Ettles, Douglas Evans, Marcus Evans, Jeremy Eve. Suna Farouk, Naomi Fenton, Jonathan Fisher Black, Joseph Fitchett, Helen Fraser, Anthony Dao Ying Fung, Hitesh Gardia, Kieran Galvin, Lochini Gangoda, Varasan Ganeshalingam, Michelle Gatta, Olayinka Bolahan, Obada Ganam, Michelle Nanaratnam, Caroline Gossen, Selena Graham, Jordan Green, Hannah Greenwood, awarded the Gordon M. Holmes Prize, Proxime Accessit, Megan Griffiths. Trishna Ganu, James Gutzel, Laura Guy, Sonal Halai, Matthew Hall, Fionn Niahari, Samiha Hayek, Joseph Hayward, Heji Her, 
Jamie Henry, Jonathan Hogg, Sei Yi Hong, Emma Horton, Alina Zhu Min Hua, Claire Hutchinson, Robin Jacobs, Lucy James, Michael James, Amar Jessel, Bethan Johnson, Holly Jones, Stephen Jordan, Varsha Kadaba, Gunaz Kalon, awarded the Cheadle Prize, Jeremy Kalingen. Balraj Kalarai, He Chan Kang, Min Kyu Kang, Catherine Kennett, yeah! Alison Kent, E Kui Kyu, awarded the Gordon M. Holmes Prize, Proxime Accessit, Kimi Khan. Rezwan Kandoka, Jahan Zaib Kawaija, Sin Ying Kowa, Ashwin Krishnamurti, Punam Kakadia, Ahmed Latif, Catherine Lau, Emily Law, Laura Leach, Philip Ledbetter, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize. Helena Jahui Lee. <laughs> Ki Chin Jeremy Lee. Gurpal Singh Lida. Chuen Choi Henry Lim. Harriet Lister. Daphid Llewellyn. Abison Logashwaran. James Lowe. Lynn Liu, Robert Mackay, Helen Mackey, Pranav Mahajan, Khalid Mahmoud Tofik, awarded the Victor Ladorum Llewellyn Prize, Sarah Mason, S Sanjay Mehta. Awarded the Calvary Prize in Chemical Pathology, Jonathan Messing. <laughs> Niraj Mystery, Dimitris Mitakos, Manish Modi, AJ Mahite, Sophie Moyne, Rahul Mudan Nayaka, Taymor Naim. May Nagel, awarded the Baron Prize, Uditi Naik, Mitesh Naik, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Niraj Nanavati, <laughs> Ali Zain Nakwi, Matthew V. Nisarajan, Anilan Navaratnam, Richard Newman, Craig Nightingale, James O'Brien, Samuel O'Neill, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Chang Park, <laughs> Alexander Parry, Babesh Patel. Fatima Patel, Karishma Patel, Nisha Patel, Tanya Patrick, Christopher Peak, Thomas Phillips, Joseph Pick, Danya Pile, Gunvir Placha. C.C. Poo, 
Krista Raja Suryayan, awarded the Richard Hebb Prize in Hematology, <coughs> excuse me, and the T. Watt Eden Prize, Christopher Raj Kumar. <laughs> awarded the John Adamson Prize, Gurpreet Rakra. <laughs> awarded the Baron Prize, Aisha Rashid. Para Graval, Dimitris Rhesus, Hannah Ribbons, Jack Roberts, Nathaniel Rucroft, Neil Rupani, Arjun Singh Sahota, <coughs> Motion Sal Salahuddin. Hashitha Samaraga, Pavan Sambi, Vatshalan Samthirapala, Matthew Sarvesvaren, Sonia Salva, awarded the Jasmine Anandaraja Prize, Hussein Selmi. Naveen Sati, Amar Jitu Shah, Shirag Shah, Dara Shah, Mit Shah, Priya Shah, Priya Shah, Ricky Chandravadan Shah, Zoha Shai. James Sharples, Anil Sidhu, Stuart Simon, Weishuan Xiao, ba Bhavani Siva Guru Nathan, Ilavarasi Siva Kolunthu, Sanganthini Siva Loka Northan Award Awarded the William Travers Prize, Nisanth Siva Rasan. Shalil Solanki, Arvinder Sood, Thomas Stokes, Huda Thacker, George Thornton, Frederick Torlo, Shafak Tufik, Saskia Verhagen, Vina Vishwanath, Clara Vorshitska, Abdul Ahad Wahid, Tian Ying Wang, Alex Ward, Lauren Waterman, Catherine Watson, Jeremy Webb, Asanka Wijendra, Harold Wilson Moorcare, awarded the Frederick Bird Prize, Remus Wynne. <laughs> Samuel Withy, Chung Yin Wong, Heather Malai Wong, Jackson Wu, Bob Yang, Gabriella Young, Nair Joachim, Dalia Youssef, Saman Zaman, Jin Jing Zhang,
Clarissa Depinthe O'Kelly, Mustafa Al Ansari, Ruben Bog, Justin Zai Chan Cheng, Samia Uncomos, Paul Fairhurst, Hyung Q Han, Natasha Harringman, Zara Kadam, Jana Kose Bati, Alexander Lai, Nicholas Massey, awarded the Betuel Prize, the Golding Medal Prize, the Meadows Prize, and the proxy Maxesset to the gold medal, Nicholas Peng Hu Ng. Susanna Liang Gru Peng, Sangeetha Sathyan Andan, Gurdeep Singh Sayan, Omar Shaikh, Yishi Tan, Yuen Saitham, Wan Hana Zainuddin, Justin Zan, Awarded the William Travers Prize, Joshua Allison. <laughs> Jane Atkin. Germaine Bamfo. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Venetia Barrett. <laughs> Daniel. Danielle Banfield. Thomas Beeney. Hannah Beckett, awarded the Cheadle Prize, William Birmingham. <laughs> Gemma Buckley, Edward Cairns, Rodrigo Daly, Mohammed Dar, Catherine Duffield, Henry Gann, Anna Gill, Rosalind Hawkes, Chris Hogan, Sharif Ismail, Sarah Johnston, Loretta Yeeman Lau, Eliza Lewington Gar, Kevin Yif Ayu. Eva Lukaides, Andrew McGrath, Aliyah Mohammed, Graham Nimmo, Lucy Osborne, Yusuf Osgrotchi, awarded the Anthony de Rothschild Prize, the Gordon M. Holmes Prize, Proxy Mascessit, the John Adamson Prize, and the Stevenson Prize, Edward Poynton. <laughs> Michael Quinn, Jack Reed, Eric Skilberg, Olga Sotolenko, Kate Swarbrick, Alexandra Tyndale, awarded the Norman C. Lake Prize, Proxy Maxessit, Michael White, <laughs> Kate West, Maria Adelson, Hirsch Bat, Christopher Darwin, Leanne Eveson, Naomi Gibbs, Louise Glanville, Rebecca Hilbert, Kirsten Collar, Sophie Logan, 
Henrietta Mare, awarded the British Pharmacological Society Prize and the Jasmine Ananda Raja Prize, Moon Moon Majumdar. <laughs> Thomas Murphy, Vidushia Nithyananthan, Kiran Prabhu, Jennifer Pringle, Nisha Raithatha, Katrina Reed, Anya Sasso, Amit Ajay Shah, Punam Shah, Shalini Shankla, Natasha Sharman, Chloe Woods, Ryun Wilson, Jonathan Jun Cheong Wong, Thomas, ba Thomas Badenoch, Janet Ngai Man Hung, Shams Shamun, Raphael Anwar, Ruben Leo Gibbs, Shah Rahman, Noam Dover, George Dalton, Ala Jawad, Rose Mulvey, Christopher Tavener. Christina Tavener.
Provost. I have the great pleasure and delight of presenting an award for an outstanding student achievement to an individual who's made a great contribution to the college and to the wider community. Ali Raza Haddad took his academic interests far beyond his studies in medical, biomedical sciences. He established three groundbreaking medical projects. Telemed Imperial, the Avacenta project, and the Imperial Pediatric Play Team. Through these inspired activities, Ali has helped countless others to explore boundaries of medical science and innovation. He enabled access to first-class cancer care for children in developing countries. He led student volunteers in providing playtime activities for hospitalized children. As an imperial student, he embodies that contribution beyond his academic skills into a range of extracurricular endeavors. Provost, I have enormous delight in presenting to you the worthy winner of the Outstanding Student Achievement Award. President and Rector. I have an enormous pleasure in presenting the President and Rector's medals. Professor Jenny Hyam has made a profound contribution to Imperial's position as a world leader in medical education. Thousands of medical students, and probably all of you here, have benefited from Prof's exceptional leadership the School of Medicine's teaching activities since 2006. And the impact of her work extends beyond our country. It extends to, this, to Singapore, where Prof Hyam has steered the gestation and development of the Lee Kong Chang School of Medicine, from the start to the first intake of students. This has been a mighty partnership between Imperial and Nantan Technology University. The school's first cohort began their studies in August. They are immersed in a groundbreaking medical curriculum constructed by hundreds of Imperial staff and students under the direction of Professor Hyam. Both in the UK and in Singapore, Professor Hyam's commitment to excellence in medical education is shaping the future development of doctors. Professor John Laycock. I'm hoping for more than that at the end. Described as a teaching giant whose students remember him for the rest of their lives, Professor Laycock has been widely praised for his outstanding educational activities in endocrinology and medicine as well as his remarkable generosity of his time, advice, and wisdom. Professor Laycock served as the Senior Admissions Tutor for Medicine for many years, where he has typically run at least 85 interview panels every single year. I'm sure many of you here will have encountered him. Embracing technology, he has helped streamline the process, develop best methods to seek the best candidates a tireless supporter of widening participation initiatives. Professor Laycock is sought after as a guest speaker by schools and colleges throughout the country, where he inspires thousands of prospective students. When he retires, allegedly, this year, he will leave a peerless legacy in the Faculty of Medicine. And finally, Susan English.
As faculty education officer for medicine, Susan English has driven through multiple complex reforms. Changes to the admissions, learning resources, curriculum, e-learning, examinations, and other administrative functions, which may seem hidden behind the scenes, which make an immense contribution to your experience as students. Prior to her current role, Susan's extensive work in the foundation, as foundation school manager forged connections with undergraduates and foundation training, helping the faculty to better prepare you for your future careers. Susan is entirely focused on improving the quality of the faculty's programme and the service to our students. She leads by example, putting students at the heart of all her work, and the Faculty of Medicine is a significantly better place because of her contribution. President and Rector, I am delighted to present to you the winners of the President and Rector's Medal for Outstanding Contribution to Teaching Excellence and in supporting the student experience, and I'm sure you will join with me in celebrating. Today, we honour one of the outstanding medical thought leaders of his generation, Sir John Bell. A pioneer in immunology and genetics, Sir John's particular focus on autoimmune diseases has contributed to a clearer understanding of the genetic determinants of susceptibility to conditions such as type 1 diabetes and rheumatoid arthritis. He's made substantial contributions to the development of research programs in genetics and genomics in the UK. He founded the Wellcome Trust Centre for Human Genetics in 2000 and has led the significant expansion in biomedical activities at Oxford University. He has held the distinguished title of Regis Professor of Medicine there since 2002. In 2006, Sir John became Chair of the Office for the Strategic Coordination of Health Research, OSCAR, at a time when medical research was relatively uncoordinated and innovation seemed to have plateaued. At OSCAR, he oversaw the coordination of the country's two main public sector medical research funders, the National Institute of Health Research and the Medical Research Council, re-energizing and revitalizing their work. Sir John's foresight there has helped secure the UK's leadership in key areas of health, medical research and innovation. As president of the Academy of Medical Sciences between 2006 and 2011, Sir John helped to cement the UK's position as a leader in medical research. He has encouraged investment in the training of aspiring researchers and in clinician scientists, speaking out for the support needed to translate the latest breakthroughs in medical science into direct patient benefits. Sir John's energetic commitment to biomedical innovation is exemplified by his founding of three biotech startups and his work as an advisor to multiple international bodies on biomedical research. Sir John, your leadership and vast contribution to UK medicine are truly an inspiration. I therefore invite you, President and Rector, under the powers granted by the University to the College Council to confer on Sir John Bell an honorary degree in recognition of his outstanding contribution to the genetics and genomics of autoimmune disease and indeed more widely to the leadership of biomedical research in the UK.
Professor Howard Thomas has made immense contributions to the development and growth of academic medicine at Imperial since he joined St Mary's Hospital Medical School in 1987. Professor Thomas's research has substantially enhanced our understanding of the pathogenesis and treatment of virus-induced liver disease and cancer. His significant contributions to clinical and laboratory-based research include leading the first European studies of interferon as a therapy for hepatitis B and C, resulting in the descriptions of hepatitis B variants and the effects of hepatitis C virus in the brain. He established the Hepatitis Antiviral Unit at St Mary's, one of the largest in Europe, supporting both clinical trials and NHS care. Professor Thomas has received international accolades for his groundbreaking work with honours including the prestigious Hans Popper International Award for Distinction in Hepatology and Lifetime Recognition Awards from the British and European Associations for the Study of Liver Disease. He has shown great commitment to public service, working extensively as a government and charitable advisor, including to the World Health Organization, Department of Health, and the British Liver Trust. He was one of the founding editors of the Journal of Viral Hepatitis, and co-editor of the textbook Viral Hepatitis, now in its fourth edition. As president of the European Association for the Study of Liver Disease, he chaired the London meeting in 1997, which had record-breaking levels of attendance. A cream proponent of translational medicine to the benefit of patients, Professor Thomas is co-founder of Riotech Pharmaceuticals an imperial spin-out developing treatment for hepatitis C. In retirement, Professor Thomas continues to be in demand internationally as an invited lecturer. But around his packed travel schedule, he's been able to develop his passion for boating, fishing and gardening. Now living in Dorset, he has additionally taken an interest in farming, one of his latest achievements being the design of a badger and fox-proof hen house. Supported by his music-loving wife, Dillis, Professor Thomas has been an outstanding servant of the college for 25 years. Few can claim to have so profoundly shaped world-class activities in medicine. I therefore invite you, President and Rector, under the powers granted by the University to the College Council, to confer on Emeritus Professor Howard Thomas the Imperial College Medal in recognition of the outstanding contribution he has made to Imperial College London. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my enjoyable task to end today's ceremonies, but before I do so, I'd particularly like to thank the Bachelors of Medicine at the back, who's, many of whose hands I shook two years ago, who've learnt in the two years since not to crush it, and for those of you in the front whose hands I may possibly shake again in a couple of years' time, can I recommend a very weak handshake? <laughs> because it's kinder to the person in my role. Um, I'm here to really thank lots of people. First of all, I'd like to thank all those people who've made today work and made a success. This doesn't happen by accident, and a lot of hard work went in to today. So first of all, I'd like you to thank those people, and there are too many of them to name, um, with a round of applause. I'd secondly like to thank our musicians, our singers, and our, I described it earlier as an orchestra, but I think that's a slight exaggeration, but whatever it is, they made a wonderful sound. Thank you very much. Now, 
Now, also sitting behind me on the stage here in the Albert Hall are a number of people who've had the pleasure, I hope, of teaching you. I'm sure that there were moments when it wasn't a pleasure, but I'm equally sure that generally it has been an exciting experience for them and a great privilege to talk to and teach such a committed lot of people. But I think you also owe them a vote of thanks, and I'd like you to thank those who've taught you, apart from Jenny Hyam and Professor Laycock, for all they've done to get you here today. Now, the President and Director, in his speech, referred to the many friends and families and guests who are with us today, apart from the graduates. And the next people I'd like to thank are your parents, because they have supported you, helped you, guided and encouraged you, I expect financed you, put up with you. And they and many of your friends are here today in pride at what you've achieved, and I think we should thank them for the support that they have given you. <laughs> Finally, I stand here with some humility. I read arts at university. I got an average degree. I didn't do very much except enjoy myself. And I'm very impressed by what you all achieved. Science to me was um, Petri dishes, Bunsen burners, the sex life of the rabbit, and it didn't interest me. But what is wonderful is that all of you have committed to being the highest professional doctors you can be, and you have got it in the way that I never did as an arts graduate. And I and the rest of the university on whose behalf I'm privileged to speak, are proud of all of you, of what you've achieved to get this far, and what we know you will achieve in the future. And have a very good evening.